April 26, 1981, in southern Oregon, a light rain has fallen. A legend in railroading leaves Klamath Falls early in the morning. Southern Pacific's daylight 4449. The most beautiful engine in the world slowly heads out of town for Sacramento and the National Rail Fair. A few miles south, 4449 appears from a tunnel at Doris. continues on, powering her drivers as she rolls south. At a remote spot named Andesite, an unscheduled photo run-by is made. The train comes to a stop in order to check and repair a faulty diner car. Soon she starts to roll again. Further south, Panayar provides a beautiful moment as 4449 charges uphill with a diesel helper and 15 cars in tow. Brief stop at Black Butte for water, the journey resumes. Rail fans gather to watch and photograph the engine as she passes by. Next stop, Dunsmuir. spectators and rail fans gather at Dog Creek to get a glimpse of the engine and train as they continue south to Sacramento.
Moving along the banks of the Sacramento River in Northern California, the daylight colors shine again. stop in Redding for water, 4449 heads into the flatlands of the upper San Joaquin Valley. Steaming for Orland at 60 miles per hour, the diesel helper is still in the train because of bad fuel oil in the tinder of the steam engine. Before the train arrives in Orland, the helper is cut out. 4449 steams into town under her own power.
coming to a stop, the engine is serviced and the tender is filled with water. With the fuel burning problem improved, she steams out of town. Diesel friend. Southern Pacific's daylight is on her own. With power to spare, she races south at speeds in excess of 70 miles per hour. Sacramento and Rail Fair 81 will be the next stop.
Clean and Shining 4449 is shown off at the National Rail Fair in Sacramento. Southern Pacific's 4449 is a GS4 type of engine. The GS means general service. She was built by Lima Locomotive Works in 1941 at a cost of $175,000 for the Southern Pacific Railroad. She was put in service in May 1941 and retired in October 1957. In April 1958, the 4449 was donated to the city of Portland for permanent display in Oaks Park. She is of the 484 wheel arrangement, having 80 inch drivers and two cylinders of 25 and a half by 32 inches. She exerts a pulling force of 64,800 pounds. With the addition of a Franklin booster engine in the trailing truck, the engine can provide a total of 78,000 pounds of effort. Built for speeds in excess of 90 miles per hour, her 80-inch drivers only need 256 revolutions to cover one mile. The total length of the engine and tender is 110 feet. The tender is 47 feet 10 inches long and has a capacity of 23,300 gallons of water and 6,145 gallons of fuel oil. The tender, when fully loaded, weighs more than the engine. Both engine and tender together weigh 763,000 pounds. She was last operated in 1976 and 1977 as the American Freedom Train for the Bicentennial. As the Freedom Train engine, she was painted red, white, and blue. She has now been restored to her original daylight colors. After the events of rail fare come to a close, 4449 heads south to Bakersfield and Los Angeles. Spending the night in Bakersfield, the engine leaves town before dawn and heads for Tehachapi and Mojave. Seen again on May 12th as she approaches the town of Mojave, she rolls in and comes to a stop.
With the main line to Palmdale and Los Angeles now clear, she charges out of town. She heads for Klamath Falls and home in Portland. Drives north, stopping at Davis briefly, and then on to Orland, the next stop.
coming to a stop in Orland, the crew services the engine. Alamite guns are being used again. The tinder is filled with water from fire hoses. After complete servicing, the engine slowly gains speed and heads north to Redding, the next stop. The diesel helper from Oakland is added for the climb past Mount Shasta. The 4449 uncouples and rolls forward with the diesel taking its position at the head of the cars. The 4449 backs to the train and couples with the diesel. Pulling forward, the train rolls to the station in Reading. the stop at Reading, the train crosses the Great Trestle over Lake Shasta. Tracing the path she took earlier on the way south, she rolls past the banks of the Sacramento River once again.
After stopping briefly at Dunsmuir, the journey continues under the highway bridge just north of town. Slowly, 4449 and her train gain speed as she works up steam. Pulling uphill, she charges hard, steaming past Black Butte and heading for the summit a few miles ahead. by Mount Shasta, the daylight 4449 and her train crossed the giant Hotlum Bridge. Coming to a stop at Grass Lake, the helper diesel is cut from the train and sent back to Oakland. After coupling again, 4449 slowly gains speed as she struggles with the weight of 15 passenger cars.
Racing from the shadow of Mount Shasta, she steams through Hebron and on to Klamath Falls. Arriving in Klamath Falls that evening, she settles down for the night. Tragedy struck early the next morning when a three-inch flue cracked in 4449's boiler. With water leaking into the firebox, the fire is shut off. While easily repaired, the water is drained from the boiler and no work can be accomplished until the firebox can be cooled down. As a result, Southern Pacific and the National Railway Historical Society have decided to move the special train into Portland with diesel power in order that passengers can meet connections and other commitments. <laughs>